So I am here with Ben, and Ben is, uh, I didn't realize how young you were. You're one of the younger people in business, although you're almost 30. You're 29, right? Yes. Cool. Um, I like I like hearing from young guys because I, I relate to, I remember being, I remember being young and relating to, you know, getting those first clients when you're young. But anyway, um, what is your, uh, before we talk about your success, let's talk about your background first in terms of your jobs and things like that you've had before joining business. So you joined Business Builder this year, correct? Yeah, yeah. back uh, in February. February, great. So prior to that, what was your, is your work background? Yeah, so uh, currently I'm working um, as an assistant manager at a grocery store. Um, and I've been in that position for almost two years. Um, but before that, kind of a mix and match of things all across the retail spectrum, um, different positions, restaurant industry. I was a mail carrier for a little while, just kind of trying to see if there was any job that I could have that didn't suck as bad. No. Um, <laughs> but you know, they all, they all suck. So, um, yeah, so mostly just retail. I remember those days, my, my, one of my first jobs was sitting on a key punch machine, just turning papers like this all day yep. long, like eight hours a day. Yeah. That's fun. So I get it. <laughs> I remember those days. Yes. And then, so to be clear, you have no business experience in terms of having your own business, correct? Um, so I do have a web design business, okay. um, that I started this past November. So it's been almost a year. Okay. Um, but that's oh, something so before you, so you, before casual. you joined business, Builder, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you get any yeah. clients from that or no? Um, I, so yes, I was part of a networking group and the few clients that I had were from that networking group, um, like oh, people in the actual cool. group. So. so you started a web design business, you joined a networking group, you got a few clients from that group. That's yeah. cool. And um, that's like, so that's like three months before you joined business. Builder, yeah. Almost. Something yeah. Like, okay. And the main Darn. thing was I wanted to, so with that business, I did the thing where I figure out what I want to do and then try to plug that into, you know, that, and it's like fine, but I was running and started running into a wall of, you know, trying to convince people why they need a website, which I didn't I... want to do. So that's why I was like, okay, I could, you know, and I, I'm still doing that. Um, it's kind of on the back burner right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but I wanted to try constructing something from the ground up with this other approach and see, you know, how that would go in, in comparison. And so far this has worked a lot better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you joined business builder in February and then what was the niche that you chose? My niche is yoga studios who host international retreats. Cool. Nice and niche. Love it. I remember you. I remember that. That's right. I remember this. Yeah. So I, we have a lot of people through the program, so I, little details I remember. Okay, cool. Yoga studios who put on international retreats. Yes. Right? Yep. And the service that you are offering the niche is? Um, how to get more clients um, with the focus on email marketing. Um, and yeah, so that's with the focus on email marketing. That's been the biggest thing because um, out of the people I talk to, the main way they get clients is either through word of mouth uh, repeat customers or email. Right. Okay. Cool. So you're kind of leaning into something they're already comfortable with. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's a good idea. Okay. And so for a while you didn't get any clients and then you started talking to someone. And so, so give me the timeline in June, you started talking to this person. Is that right? Um, so it was about July, um, July. that I started okay. kind of going back and forth with her. Um, okay. I got connected with this person through someone who it was during the um, part in the program where you um, reach out to, you know, make a list of everyone, you know, and just start calling all of your contacts. Cool. Um, so there was someone who I worked with at my store, my like grocery store that I'm working at. Um, and she referred me to her friend who does retreats. Oh. So cool. I got connected with her through a mutual coworker. So you asked your friend, this is the niche I'm helping. Do you know anyone in this niche? Yes. Is that, that's yep. exactly what we're talking about. Okay, great. Awesome. Oh, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. That detail. That's so cool. Okay. 
So then you talk to this new person. Yeah. So starting kind of like mid July, um, you know, got connected with her, called her, just kind of did like a, um, a basic like intro call to see what her business was all about. Um, and really just let her talk for it. And, you know, she said multiple times during this first call, like, I, you know, I feel comfortable with everything that I'm doing. Um, like I have a good basis of marketing and that sort of thing, but I'm just one person and I need help. Like I need help with all of this. I can't do it on my own anymore. Um, so we went back and forth for, you know, a little bit over a month, just really trying to dial in all of the details um, because she was getting a little bit hung up on the structures of my um, offerings, okay. like, you know, like tier one, tier two, tier three. Um, okay. And she had, three, she had three, three prices, correct? Like we talked yes. about? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, but after just like continuing to get caught in the weeds with that, I just took a step back and I said, you know what? I will do a flexible project scope for you. And for three months, I will help you with anything email marketing related for this, you know, this price. And right. she was very happy with that. So that's just what we've been doing. Um, so I'm helping her with a campaign right now. Um, that's about a five week campaign uh, for a, a retreat she's putting on. And then we're gonna go from there. She's very satisfied so far. Awesome. And so let's talk money. So you have her on, so how long is the contract you have her on now? Uh, for three months. Three months and how Six. much per month? Yeah, six hundred and fifty dollars per month. Per month. Yeah. And this is your first client, right? Yes. Yep. Because that's uh nineteen fifty, uh, almost two thousand dollars in terms of client value. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like in business mode, we talk about sometimes you could do your first client for free. You're actually mm -hmm. getting paid two thousand dollars. Yeah. Now, imagine so, it's not taking yep. a hell of a lot of time to do this. In a given no. Week. So yeah. I did have to, you know, um, slash the price to, you know, take her on as a which client, is, but- Which is what we teach for the first client. Yeah, yeah, right. which right. I was willing to do. Client. It's not free, but still making money. Yeah. Um, and I was able to find a contractor on Upwork and he is doing super well. Like it's fantastic. Um, he's been really great. So I plan to continue working on him um, for future projects as well. Um, he, is this the contractor doing work for you, for her? Yeah, like helping out with right. more of the specifics for the email campaign. Great. Okay. So is he like a copywriter? Um, he is like an expert in uh, social media management and go high level and convert okay. get those sorts of things. Got so it. he's been helping with the more technical aspects of the specific software. Mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of providing, you know, like consultative advice on like best practices and that sort of thing. Um, so I'll get the um, like the written content from the client. I do a first pass and edit it. Uh, parse it down a bit and then send it off to the contractor to see, you know, anything else that needs to be edited. And then he goes ahead and posts it and sends out the um, actual email. Cool. So you're doing very little work comparatively because yeah. he's doing a lot of it. Yeah. Great. That means you can scale on your second client, third client, fourth client. You can get those clients faster and easier because you've already built in a scaling mechanism into your business. You're not yes, doing yes, exactly. Very smart. So going from this so you're still employed at the grocery store, is that correct? Yes. Got it. Okay. And also, when you get six fifty from your own business, you're paying a lot less in taxes than you are from your salary. At yeah. The grocery store. I mean, you get murdered with taxes. I believe. Yep. Yep. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Um, and that's within a few months. Mm -hmm. This is great. So, last question: If someone is looking at ninety day business builder and they're like on the fence. Like, I don't know, maybe it looks good. I'm not sure. What would you tell that person? I would tell them to just do it. Just go for it. You just, you have to jump in. Um, and I am pretty active on the boards. And this, you know, the idea of, um, you know, like mindset or imposter syndrome or um, yeah. like a limiting mindset, limiting beliefs that comes up a lot. And you just have to do it. And even as you're going through it, like as I was hitting these milestones, it's like, you know, you see everyone else getting their niche and like they, they are making progress with that. And you're like, oh man, it seems like I'm never going to get there kind of a thing. Like that's so far away, but then you get there and you're like, oh, okay. So this is real. This is a thing. And then yeah. it, it's like with each step, you know, like even when I got my first client, I was like still like kind of in disbelief. It just is like, <laughs> 
is this really happening? Like, no, this yeah. is, it is legitimate. Yep. Um, it, it does work. You still obviously have to do the work, but it's like, what is the alternative? If you don't do this, then what are you going to do? So I, that's I never, the I never I think of that. I never think of that angle. What are you going to do if you're not going to do this? That's yeah. a very good point that I often forget about. You're right. What are your options? How do yeah. you do that? Yep. Very, very good point. Ben, this has been great. I, I, you're, you're, you're one of my favorite success stories with this because you're, you're starting from a place where I started, where you're like, you know, you're starting, you're not starting from zero, but you're starting from a place you wouldn't expect a business owner to start from. Right. And I know you're going to get more clients. So yep. this is just, this is, this is the worst it will be. This, this is how good it is, but it's going to get better from here. Yep. Even though $2,000 to your first client, pretty damn, that's more than I got from my first client. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> but this has been great. Thank you very much. This has been awesome. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me.